Have you already met the Overseer? If not, I would highly urge you to do so. Fendel's government asked the Amarsians for help with their Creus research. One mistake with Creus research could be the death of all of us, but the Overseer still agreed to help. Even we haven't lived here forever. Apparently, the Amarsians once made their homeland in Strata, but that was a long time ago. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm hmm. View requests. Emperor's Claw. Sure. Pyrogen. Forgot how to make that. But at least we got a new item. But I just dualized this shit. God damn. <sighs> Whatever. We'll keep the Rune Blade plus two for now until it's tempered. And then we'll put on the platinum one. Jesus, that makes me mad. Like, what the fuck? Really, game? Gotta do this to me now. Alright, platinum gauntlets. Nope, not as good as what I have. I'm pretty sure I can get one. Like, from the... You know... Whatever. I forgot how to say it. Eh. Seems good enough. Uh, for you... Warlock's Garb. Warlock's Garb. No, that wasn't you. It was her. Actually. Platinum Tunic is better. We're gonna sell some of our armor, just because I feel like we're not gonna get much out of it. Dun, 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 dun. Night armor. Mm hmm. Uh, we can get stuff out of it later. Boom, boom, boom. Iron tunic, battle tunic. Doing okay now. Yes. All right. Now let's see. Life bottles. Ooh, you can buy magic cartas and meals. Sure. Arcane bottle, fill up the Elith gauge when used. Drop bottle, increase the chances of drop. And. Okay. So that was basically uh, a limit bottle ish kind of deal. And because of that, and what it can do for us. I'm going to see if I can put that in here. Arcane Bottle. That requires a shit ton of Elith, but whatever. I don't care. I want more Arcane Bottles. And I don't know if you can buy them very often. Mm. We should be able to heal at Pascal's house, right? I mean, normally when you go to a party member's house, you can usually rest. I think. Hmm, there's something here. I've learned her real name. Her name is Goss. That must be the Overseer's name. I'm guessing. Um, you know, I never found the, the chest in uh, Strata either. Should go work on that later. Oh, Pascal sure did love her big sister, Fourier. How sad for Pascal to return home after all this time and still not be able to see her. 
Foyer has left the village. You didn't see her? I heard she went to Zavert. That might be where that hammer's from. Let's go inside Foyer's house first. Just because. We're gonna steal yourself, older sister. A drill? Uh, Goss, right? Mm, makes it easier to acquire shards from enemies for the dualizer and you. It's actually not a bad book. Uh, let's see. It's actually pretty good. Uh, we haven't really gotten much out of this one, sadly. Book of Acquisition. Nice. The more shards, the better, so we can dualize more and get super awesome weapons. Hey, cat. I want to use a Martian technology to invent things that help people. What about the hula hoop that spins itself? Is that helpful? No. Well, actually, maybe. This is clean? You call this clean? Is this a trash dump? Sophie! This is not cool! You don't just go cleaning up people's rooms when they've only been gone for like a second! When were you last here, Pascal? I don't know, about three years ago? <laughs> I'm not sure you can really complain if you've been gone that long. I knew it! Someone yoinked all my Creus notes! So, someone's been using your research to help Fendel with their experiment. Yeah, but who? Hey, we should ask the Overseer. She's gotta know something. The Overseer? Is that your leader? Yep, she's old. Like, super old. She's so old, she doesn't even know how old she is! Anyway, enough about that. Let's go see her. She's so happy-go-lucky. Ooh, Sheena's card. Mohammed 711 Mohammed should like that. Stole some milk. Robo-pet. Anything you like. Hmm, what should I make for dinner tonight? Huh? Hmm? Hmm, okay, so if we have curry again, it'll look like I'm playing favorites with Asbel. <gasps> what about you, Sophie? Do you think we should have crablets again? Sharia, that animal moved. Oh, just ignore it. It's probably some toy Pascal made. Wait. Sophie, wait! What about dinner? Captain! Perfect timing. How about I let you choose the menu for tonight? Pick your favorite. Anything you like. How about sea bream porridge? All right, I'll have to look for a recipe. I should have known you'd pick something old-fashioned. Oh? I mean because, um, you have refined tastes, right? Why ask me? <laughs> oh man. Okay, so... I think this is enough for tonight. Yeah. Hopefully I can record as soon as I wake up in the morning or in the afternoon, whenever, after I upload some of these videos. So you'll be seeing this before I even get towards my next recording session. Anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, thank you for leaving likes and continuing to do so. Uh, I also want to thank you guys for leaving comments. Even though, like, I might be uploading way too fast. I'm not sure. But I do want to get this series done as soon as possible. And so I can, like, get towards, like, other stuff. But first... The Transplanted Land.
Mount Zavrid is cold and in the middle of nowhere. Why in the world would the Amarsians live here? You know, good question. I'm not sure. But I mean, does anybody know why their hometowns are where they are? No, I guess not. They used to call Mount Zavrid Kulumin, which means the transplanted land. As children, we were taught to never approach it, so I'm unfamiliar with the area. Perhaps the warning originates from an Amarsian desire to protect their privacy from the local villagers. Captain, even if kids didn't know the Enclave was here, that warning should have raised some eyebrows. Hmm, it does seem pretty obvious in retrospect. <laughs> Whence and whither? Man, I think about this all the time, but I sure am one lucky girl. And why do you say that? If I was the overseer, I wouldn't be able to continue my research. Research? Do you wish to tell me that it's research that's been motivating your travels? Yep, you cannot tell from when we Marcians came and whither we go, or whatever. Huh, I wouldn't have taken you for a romantic. Overseers are chosen based on their family lineage. She wasn't even listening. But if I ended up having to take on that responsibility, it'd be a total pain. I concur, as would everyone living here, I'm sure. <laughs> That was weird. I mean, I don't think I've ever had two si or skits at once like that before. Or have I? Anyways, once again, I want to thank you guys. Uh, trying to finish my little outro. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the videos by leaving likes and comments. And for the few of you that have subscribed to the show, thank you. You guys are actually showing that you care for the Tales of Graces F playthrough that I'm doing. Um, I love you all. Thank you very much, and good night, good day, and good evening. Bye!